Hey guys, Gassa TV here with another Path of Excel video. In this one, I'm going to show you how you can effectively farm plus one number of Spectre chess piece. And this is something that only drops in Delve, so this is something you're gonna have to do in the Delve environment in Path of Excel. There's a couple of rule sets uh, that you need to achieve to be able to find the spots where these drops, and these are usually very expensive. I'm currently playing a Spectre build. I will make a video momentarily going uh, where I'm going to talk about my League Start experience by playing the, the Spectre because the Reaper was terrible. But in this one, we're going to talk about the Spectre chess piece. Just to show you, uh, without the links, how much a plus one Spectre chess piece actually costs, they're pretty goddamn fucking expensive. But it is one of the most crucial upgrades you do with a Spectre-oriented build. And if you want to go for six length, they're going to go skyrocket up in price. Hopefully, I'll drop one when we do this video, and it's going to be awesome. So, how do we find these? Well, you're going to go into the delve. Now, with delving, that means you want to do quests or missions or, or on when you're doing maps to get soul fight. And this is done through using Nico, the master of the depth quest. So, if you have access to this, you want to upgrade the Nico. We're not going to talk too much about that specific mechanic. And then you go to the subterranean charts, which looks, at, looks like this. In this area, you want to search in the bar down here for minion. And the node we're looking for is two different versions of it. The areas we can find them in is Abyssal Depths and Fungal Caverns, uh, as you can see, uh, which is this area. But this one is here because of the Vault Outpost. So what we're looking for is this specific icon with the skulls and bones. And this one's called Grim Copes. It doesn't really matter what it's called, but it says contains minion or aura items. This means that once I've done this node, I will be having the access to a couple of chests. These chests will drop specific modified items, which contains minion modifiers or aura items, or aura modifiers. This ranges from minion damage jewelries to plus one zombies, plus one skeletons, or best case scenario, a chest piece with plus one to maximum numbers uh, specters the item level of these chests is based on the monster level of the actual area not monster dropping so the cap on delve is actually 83 and this one it is an 81 the lowest depth where these modifiers or these nodes can show up is depth level 50 which is very very early so you can find these but the lower or the deeper in the delve you go the higher the probability of finding these so we're going to do this uh, node right now and see how it turns out so basically, it's all about just getting some soul fight, running the delve, and praying that you get access to these nodes. And just look for the nodes, search for minion if you don't spot it, and then look for the aura and the minion item nodes, and then go crazy. That's just it. It's very simple. Uh, I don't really bother looking for the fungal cavern or the... Uh, sorry, I was looking at the other screen here. <clears throat> uh, fungal caverns or the abyssal depths. Uh, so instead of looking for those specific areas, I'm just going straight deeper and deeper because they show up more often the deeper you go. Uh, and then just making sure that I have that uh, screen tagged. Uh, give me a few seconds here to actually focus on the content that I'm playing so we don't die again. Um, so basically that's all about it. And once you have found the node, then you want to go crazy and go for the node, clear it off. And it's all about praying. We've already done one so far. We didn't drop a Spectre chest. The one I'm using, I actually felt forced to buy. In this case, we have the room one. As you can see here, there's jewelry, there's treasures, and there's jewelry. This means that I can only get the chest piece from this specific chest. Uh, so hopefully we'll see what we get here. Now my job is obviously to clear this zone, and uh, then it's just pray. Keep in mind that when you do this, the jewelries you can get can be very, very good for specifically high budget builds as well. Because if you get minion damage with a high attributes like specifically dexterity, but also strength in some cases, that is something that higher budget Spectre builds or many other minion builds wants to use for the sake of uh, the crafting on. And they can be very, very good. So we're going to pop the jewelries first. So here we got a very bad one, bad base, and here's a plus one number of skeletons uh, amulet. Keep in mind, specters cannot show up on jewelries. And in here we did get zombies amulet and the minion damage amulet. That's actually pretty decent. Uh, and skeletons. That's that's surprising. Oh wow, that's actually surprisingly good. That might actually be worth some currency. And then we pray we get a chest. And that, my friends, is how you farm the plus one spectre chests. Okay, that's that's fucking hilarious. Um, 
Anyways, so that little chest right there, this chest gave us the possibility to drop this piece. And that's how you farm it. God fucking damn it, dude. Hope you had use of this video. Hope you had a good laugh with my RNG. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe, comment, yada, yada, yada. See you next time.